Hey there, Todd at BizLadder here. This video is going to talk about contacts, subscribers, and members on Wix. And then we're going to show a couple little tricks for adding contacts easily and then making your contacts into site members and why that's important. So first things first, let's understand the difference between Wix contacts, subscribers, and members. You can see I'm on my dashboard underneath the contacts section. Okay, and just some uh, spammers and dummy emails in here from an old site of mine. Um, these are contacts, right? Pretty simple, just like your Gmail contacts or uh, Mac mail contacts. Just um, anyone who's contacted you through the site, anyone you, and you've manually added or any contact lists you've imported. Subscribers, on the other hand, are people who have specifically subscribed to your newsletters. So we'll look at this test account. We'll edit the contact info. This little pop-up comes up and you can see subscription not set subscribed or unsubscribed so if they're subscribed they're going to they've actively agreed to receive your newsletter or updates from your site now members on the other hand go to crm tools site members members are people who have specifically signed up as a member anyone in your contacts who you manually set as a member we're going to cover that in just a minute and members can do some special things on your site it's really about how you create a community how you can create automations that draw from your members or, or um, tap into to, to your membership uh, activity and engagement. Um, they can take on roles in your site. You know, they, they can become uh, a blog writer. They can actually become content writers or you know generate user content. Um, so members are kind of like where you want everybody to be when they're on your site. Members also work in conjunction with that little login area at the top of your site in all likelihood. Um, you can add a login bar. You can create a my account page. Those are site members. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the difference between contact subscribers and members. Let's talk about adding contacts again. This is anybody who's contacted you through the site or who you've added or imported to the site. You can import contacts just by clicking this. You can uh, import your Gmail contacts. You can also add and import a CSV file if you've exported contacts, for example, from Mac Mail or Yahoo Mail or wherever. You could download the sample and then you upload. We're not going to get into that. Yeah, we'll discard there. So you can import. You can also just manually add a contact. Say somebody gave you their email and just said, hey, yeah, get me, get me some info on your site. You just click new contact and then a whole host of information. If they're subscribed or not, be careful about just subscribing them without getting opt-in. Uh, confirmation from them. There are a lot of rules, laws, and regulations around the world now about uh, consent for receiving email and marketing. And then you just save it or save and create another. You can also add some custom fields here. Don't worry about some of these extra fields. Those are just from, from some test forms on this site. All right. So now you've got contacts. You've, uh, you've, you've imported, you've added manually, you've uh, you know, done whatever you need to do. You've got all your contacts here. Now, how do you get them to become members? You used to have to ask them and say, hey, go to my site. I know you've already given me your email and contacted me, but now you have to sign up and become a member. Wix has recently, at least at the time of the making of this video, recently just added an option to automatically make contacts as site members. So what you do is you go to CRM tools, site members. Here's our men member list and more actions set contacts as members and you can see it brings up that list you can select all you can filter based on labels you can search for individual so let's just add them all here we'll click set contacts as members it'll think for a minute and it's as simple as that now all of these people are able to become site members all right an email is going to be sent to them at that time to uh create a password for this account. So all these spammers just got emails from me uh, asking them to create a password for my now defunct mothballed site. So uh, that is contacts, subscribers, members. That is setting your contacts as members. And uh, I think we'll stop there. Any questions, reach out.